Hey everyone, this is Primetime Vinyl and I'm Nick. Today I'm going to jump on a thread that I've seen a couple videos from in the VC so far. I know that I watched Melinda Murphy's video on this subject earlier today and it made me really want to jump on. So today I'm going to show you the 12 artists in my collection that I have the most albums from. In the case of box sets, if the box set is centered around one album, like the Metallica Deluxe Edition albums that have come out over the years, I counted that as one piece. However, in the cases of box sets like the Ozzy Osbourne box set, I counted that each as one piece per album because it's an entire career retrospective. It has all of his solo albums in there. So I counted that as separate pieces. All right, so I'm going to jump in with my number 12 artist in my collection. I have 13 pieces from this artist and that is Tom Petty. This is his album Echoes. I just heard NTX Vinyl call this one of Tom Petty's underrated or overlooked albums. And I totally agree, it's a great album. Anyway, that's number 12, Tom Petty with 13 albums. As I work my way through this list, you'll notice that I tried to pick albums from each of these artists that don't get shown all the time in the VC, and that was on purpose. I watched a video where Chris Profi talked about not showing the same albums that everybody shows from each of these artists because it just kind of gets stale when you've seen the 30th VC video that's showing Dark Side of the Moon or something like that that all of us have or most of us tend to have in our collections. So yeah, I tried to pick albums from each of these artists that you don't see very often. Coming in at number 11 with 14 albums in my collection, that is Ronnie James Dio. I didn't count his albums with Black Sabbath or his earlier bands, Elf and Rainbow. Just his solo work, I have 14 pieces. This is actually my favorite Dio album. It's Strange Highways from 1993. It is his darkest album, in my opinion, and his heaviest album, in my opinion. So yeah, it's right up my alley. This is one of the reissues that came out in 2021, I believe. It's got the old Vertigo logo on there. So yeah, that's Ronnie James Dio. I have 14 albums from him in my collection and he is at number 11 on my list. Coming in at number 10 is Judas Priest with 15 albums in my collection. I chose Ram It Down to show. I don't see Ram It Down shown very often. I think it's kind of an overlooked album and you know in my opinion it's a great album it's got the title track on here come and get it hard as iron hard as iron is a really good song so ram it down by judas priest they're number 10 on my list with 15 albums in my collection coming in at number nine on my list with 17 albums in my collection megadeth i chose to show their album the world needs a hero this I think also is an overlooked album. It's got Moto Psycho on it, Dread the Fugitive Mine, which is a great song. They still play that live, I believe. A Thousand Times Goodbye, one of my favorites, Promises, and the title track, The World Needs a Hero. This is a great Megadeth album. They're number nine on my list with 17 albums in my collection. Coming in at number eight is Slipknot. I have 17 of their albums as well. I believe there's a three-way tie here for nine, eight, and seven, all with 17 records. Slipknot, I have 17 of them. This is their self-titled album. I know that this kind of does get shown a lot in the VC, or at least in the metal VC. This is an original press, or I guess technically the second press because this is the one that had a couple of the tracks removed. Um, this is the slime green pressing. Anyway, Slipknot, number eight in my collection with 17 records. Coming in at number seven, also with 17, is Pantera. I chose to show Reinventing the Steel. This is the recent anniversary reissue, um, remixed and remastered. It comes on silver vinyl. One of my favorites, actually. I like the later Pantera albums more than a lot of the people I talk to about Pantera. So yeah, Pantera number seven with 17 albums in my collection. Coming in at number six is Ghost. I chose to show Meliora. I know that a lot of the earlier records probably don't get shown as much, 
but I'm not the biggest fan of their earlier records. For me, it kind of starts with Meliora. This is the deluxe edition. It's just on black vinyl, but it's also got uh, songs from the Pope Star EP. I have 20 Ghost Records in my collection and they come in at number six. Coming in at number five on my list with 21 records in my collection, is Iron Maiden. I chose to show Brave New World, which is the album that marks Bruce Dickinson's return to the band after being gone for a couple albums. The Wicker Man is on this album. That's kind of a live staple for them still. It's got The Nomad, Ghosts of the Navigator. Those are all great songs. Coming in at number four on my list with 23 albums in my collection is Rush, one of my all-time favorite bands. I chose to show the Hold Your Fire album it's one of the albums that I feel gets overlooked or at least doesn't get the credit that it deserves. It's one of the albums in the era of Rush where they were kind of experimenting a lot more with the synth sounds and stuff like that. So I feel like that kind of gets overlooked, but it's got Force 10, Time Stand Still, which was a hit for them, Second Nature, Prime Mover. Pretty much every song on this album is amazing. 23 records in my collection, Number four on my list, Rush. All right, number three on my list with 31 albums in my collection is Ozzy Osbourne. I chose to show the Osmosis album. It's one of the 90s albums for him. It has Perry Mason, which is one of my favorite Ozzy songs. I Just Want You, See You on the Other Side. It's just great. This is the version from the box set, Red and Black Splatter. Coming in at number two, might not be surprising to a lot of people, but it's Metallica. This is a band that I have 44 records of in my collection. This is the latest piece of the Metallica Vinyl Club releases. I feel like these are gonna be pretty rare here in the near future. They are not continuing the Vinyl Club for this year. They're stopping it at year two. This is Black Album Leftovers or Black Album Box Set Leftovers. It's got Nothing Else Matters, just string and vocal mix. My Friend Misery live. No Remorse live at Day on the Green. Shortest Straw live at Castle Farms Music Theater. And that's it. So this is Metallica. I have 44 Metallica records in my collection. And this is Black Album Box Set Leftovers from the Metallica Vinyl Club. Coming in at number one on my list with 52 albums in my collection, Coheed and Cambria. I chose to show the year of the Black Rainbow. So yeah, at one on my list with 52 albums in my collection, Coheed and Cambria. All right, everyone. So that is the 12 artists from my collection that I have the most pieces from. Again, I purposely chose albums from each artist catalog that get overlooked or just don't get shown very often in VC videos. So I hope you like that aspect of my video. Let me know in the comments. And as always, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.